Hello and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you get a nonsense direct step by step approach to getting your tasks done. I'm Richard, you are you and today we're looking at rendering a video with the alpha transparency enabled. Okay, so I'm going to use the Field of Vision uh, logo sequence as an example. Should all be familiar with that from the beginning of each of my videos. So I did this with an alpha background so I could put in an image behind later on. I did try and use a, an image offline but I could not get the permission to use it. So I had to make my own, so uh, I'm happy with it anyway. So what I did to be safe is just do this with an alpha background so I could pick the image later on. So once the animation is all done, you want to go to your render tab there and you want to go down to shading and change alpha from sky to transparent. After that, you want to go down to your um, output settings. You want to change uh, the P it, by default is PNG. You want to change that to H.264 and that down under the encoding, you want to change the format to QuickTime. And over in codec, you want to change that to QT animation, which is quick time animation. And then this RGBA button which should appear and you can select that. And that is it. You are good to go. I'll do an F12 still image render now. If it comes up black like this, you want to select this triangle down there and it shows that the alpha channel is actually there. So now you're ready to press animation up here. Once that's done animating, you will have a video file with it which is a MOV and it is a QuickTime movie format so you don't want to try and play this in Windows uh, Media Player because it just makes this terrible noise but you're free to play it inside of QuickTime but it'll just be a black background because uh, it doesn't know what to display so what you want to do is bring it over to your uh, movie editor I'm using uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum is stripped down version of Vegas, but it's good enough for what I need it for. So you drag that into your folder there. This may be different, obviously, depending on what what software you use for editing, but it may also be the similar, so watch it anyway. So you want to drag this down to your timeline, and you want to right-click it and go to the properties, and go to media, and you can find alpha channel there, and it says none. So you want to change that to straight and matted. You can try the other settings as well but this seems to work the best and click OK. You can now see the check alpha background on the strip there but it doesn't show up anything in the preview because there is no image behind it. So you want to bring in uh, a JPEG or another video or whatever you want to put behind and now you can see it popped up nicely yes! and it's looking lovely and alpha -y. So there you go, I hope that helps. alpha is that a, is that a word? I don't know so I hope that helps anyway and uh, as I say it should be similar in your editor you just need to find the properties for the file you brought in by right clicking somewhere on that file and you should find the alpha channel and you should be to change it there so there you go hope that helps and, and you can carry on making amazing stuff now Yay! and uh, until we meet again I'm Richard and ciao blau. <laughs>